So for you to learn how to stay completely focused on opportunities, you need to know and understand in no uncertain terms that the source of the threat is not the market. The market just generates information about its potential to move from a neutral perspective. And at the same time, it provides you as a trader with an unending stream of opportunities to do something with. If what you perceive at any given time, at any given trading moment, if it causes you to feel fear or pain, ask yourself this question. Is the information inherently threatening or are you simply experiencing the effect of your own state of mind reflected back to you based on an experience that you've had in the past? Let's say you're in a situation where your last two or three trades were losers. You're watching the market and, and you have a setup that indicates that an opportunity exists and it's now present. Like your setup has happened and you know this is what you've been looking for to take a trade potentially. But instead of actually just immediately executing the trade, you hesitate. The trade now feels very risky. So risky, in fact, that you start questioning whether this is really a signal or not. So instead of taking the trade, you start going out and trying to gather information to support why this trade probably won't work out. And keep in mind, this is information that you normally wouldn't even consider or pay attention to. And it's certainly not information that's part of your trading methodology. And in the meantime, the markets are moving, your, your, the trade's moving around, but unfortunately it's moving away from your original entry point and at the point that you would have gotten into the trade if you didn't hesitate. Now you're kind of conflicted, right? Because you still want to get in, the thought of missing that trade is very painful. And at the same time, as the market moves away from your original entry, the dollar value of the risk to participate increases. You've got this tug of war inside your mind going on. So you don't want to, you don't want to miss out, but you also don't, don't want to get whipsawed of price reverses. So in the end, you do nothing because you're paralyzed by it. You're like a deer in the headlights. So what do you tell yourself at that point? Do you justify that your state of hesitation was just because it was too risky? It was too risky of a trade. It was too risky to chase the market. But yet you keep looking back at that trade and every tick the market moves in the direction of what you would have been, uh, you know, a nice winning trade. You, you start to, you know, get more and more of this FOMO feeling. You know, I, I don't know how, I mean, this is personal too. I mean, I don't know how many times I've, I've found myself in this situation. But if you find yourself in this scenario, you know, ask yourself whether at the moment you hesitated, were you perceiving what the market was making available or were you perceiving what was in your mind that reflected back to you? <laughs>